Hi, well, welcome back to the next episode here. This is when we went um, last August 2020 to Isle of Grain. And um, you can find that at 51 degrees, 27, 27 hours, 41.6 minutes, or zero degree uh, north rather, and zero degree 43, 107 east. So as ever, we start off with some URLs. So as you're coming towards Yantlip, uh, which is on the Isle of Grain, you can look at the Medway Yacht Club there, and they have um, some old World War One U-boat submarine, which you can see at low tide. Um, I'm not sure if we have a picture of it later. We'll have a look. And Historic England have got some photos of the actual dragon's teeth at Grain. The Hoop Peninsula has got some information. The pillbox study, which we looked at in the Guildford one, if you remember, also mentioned the grain. Beyond the point is a group of uh, people that go looking at interesting places. They have some drone footage, I think, and I marked it on Google Maps. But you can see it from the uh, from the satellite picture. And EDOB, of course, has got a lot of stuff, and we'll see that in a minute. So let me just see if I can bring some of this stuff up. Hang on, Alt Tab. Uh, bad. My bad, or tab. Here we go. So let's make that a bit bigger. So this is the first thing. Like we said here, I'm using a touch screen today, which is quite cool. So basically, there was a World War II U-boat that went down in the Medway, and um, you can see it at lowish tide. Um, quite quite interesting. Lots of sharp bits if you walk around it. It says. Um, I mean, you can sort of walk on it, apparently, but they suggest not to. And I think there were some islands here that were plague or, or some terrible disease was there. So I think there were some islands that were suggesting you should never go to uh, in the area. So let's have a quick look at this one here. I say my touchscreen is working. It's not working there today. So these are the sort of blocks that we saw here in this area. Um, they're really quite interesting, like sort of massive three-dimensional Tetris pieces, uh, quite different. And then some are the standard dragon's teeth embedded into the floor. And this is strategic because this is on the Medway and it's also directly opposite in the distance there. You can see South End. So this is the mouth of the River Thames. And, you know, we're trying to stop people driving their ships up here or whatever. And there would be a lot of anti-aircraft areas around here as well. So it's landing sites and firing into the sky and what have you. And we'll see later that there were of our decoy airfields there. So this one here, you can see a nice picture of, oh, sorry, I don't know what it did there. It went out a little bit. We can get a nice picture of the, let's get that one back. You can get a nice picture of the teeth. You can if I didn't just throw it away, sorry about that. Sometimes this new touch screen takes a bit of getting used to, uh, but I got it for a different project. So best to go at low tide, because you can see more there. Um, now that, not sure the angle there. It almost seems to be there as if they're up in the foreshore or, or you know in the cliff above. But no, I guess that's. I suppose what it is. There must be a little bit of greenery, and then down comes the cliffs because there's a lot of there's a coastal path, but you can't always get along. So these are the bits I saw here uh, with my wife. Pretty pretty nice. Um, but it was high tide when we went. And people do a lot of swimming there, so the car park is accessible, but it can get quite busy. Let's just delete that one off. Uh, where have we got to here? So this is the standard pillbox society, so they give a picture of them there. Um, again, they're slightly different design, a bit asymmetric there, but I guess it's because if a tank hits it, you need a bit more weight to push against than the standard ones there. And there's a dirty great big cliff here. So I suppose the other angle picture was a bit misleading because it made that look flat and it isn't flat. It's anything but, yeah. Um, there's a few more here. This is the beyond the point. I think they got some drone footage from above, which is pretty cool. Um, I didn't have a drone. Uh, even if I did, I'm not certain about the drive it that well. Uh, but let's see. So here you go. You can look there at their thing on YouTube. Well, they got some nice pictures. I think they'd be pretty cool to look at that, yeah. Um, and they've got quite a lot of information. There's an old picture of it there. Looks like aircraft pens there. I don't know if it is, but um, anti-aircraft block, fair enough. Uh, yeah. And this gate here, this is Yantley Creek. I used to do a lot of demolitions there uh, years ago. Uh, maybe we'll show that in a minute. I marked it on Google Maps. So, again, you can 
park in this car park here, but it isn't massive. Just outside is this field here, and you can sort of park there. And there's a fort you can look at as well if you're interested in that sort of thing. There are, I don't know if we can see them, but here there are some old World War One defences. And then you can walk along this bit here, and then you stop and look there. I really don't know where the coastal path went. I sort of followed something into here, and it took me at the top layer along here. And this is all restricted. I'll show you the um, the gate, so you can be obviously clear that you're going the wrong way. And the blocks go a long way, so it was high tide, so I could see some from above. Those are the pictures I've got. But if you go at the right time, if you time it right, you can see the stuff at lower tide. Um, over here, so, oh, it says coastal path ends there, so maybe there's another path up here. Now, so I'm a bit, maybe, I, I don't know how you get there. Over here is where we used to do demolitions. Uh, we'll see it better when we look at the, look at the other, here we are. So I took a long, uh, long lens view picture of it here. So Dave Graham, other Dave, other Dave, Richard, myself would sit there and blow things up. Um, can't tell you what, but it was good fun. And just over the other side, let me zoom this down a bit, if you'll let me. We've got, uh, there's all hallows on the left there, which is a caravan park. Well, let me zoom out some more. There we are. Hang on. Into the area, South End. So Shubury Nest is another place we did a lot of blowing up and stuff. Foulness Island and what have you. Um, pretty cool things. And then, and then you'll see as we look on the. Uh, let, let me move that out of the way, and then you'll see some of the places are marked up. So good luck. It should start to show. I have to sign in. That's why it won't show. Okay, my bad. I've marked places up here. So all along the, the river crouch here, um, dengue, places like that. Uh, if you've been watching the yesterday series about the buildings at Fort Hitler, they have went down here, this area, to look at some minefield clearance. So they were big double-story armoured buildings looking out to the sea. And the mines were set up there. And if the ship got close enough, they'd detonate them. Uh, and all along this path here, there were various uh, cold, various pillboxes and what have you, heavily defended site. This was a big experimental research area. We used to blow stuff up over here, over here. Actually, on this bit here, roughly, used to blow up sections of an Atlantic wall. I didn't know it was an Atlantic wall. wall, wall sorry, my cockney is coming out there. An Atlantic wall can't speak properly today so we looked at one down at Thursday Thursday rather in uh, Surrey and I used to blow things up down here for various reasons and there's another one up in Suffolk somewhere uh, no that's not Bradwell up this way somewhere towards not Frinton that's Essex I have to get towards Felix I haven't gone too far have we? no boards there we are we're getting towards Orford Nest, there we are. So there's one up this way somewhere. There's a load of military stuff here. Yeah, Sudbourne. There's a wall there somewhere. Um, so this is why I'm very interested. And let's look at EDOB because that's always fascinating. So Matt's done a great job here. As ever, it puts you where he lives, I guess. If I search here for um, Isle of Grain, then it should take me to the area. Come on, internet. Did you work? Oh, there we are. So you see, what have we got here? We've got sort of these virtual um, lines, red lines in this area. There's grain. That's the marsh. Yeah, Sheerness was a well-defended port. A lot of this is gone now, old pillboxes and what have you. This is all um, oil refineries. You can see why we were very keen to uh, protect those. We had the decoy airfields here. Uh, this is the places we used to blow up. What does that say? It is actually it says it is coastal battery visible in 46. So somewhere along here it should tell us about the Tifa. It's got to be uh, here. What's no? It's got to be about here-ish, isn't it? What does it say? Yeah, there we are. So it gives you a nice picture. Uh, ba, 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 predominantly dragons to 400 meters which is quite a long way so I mean hopefully you saw the earlier video on Guildford and that was impressive this is super impressive yeah but 
again get it at the right time of year so let's have a couple of look at some uh well we'll just make a few more comments and then we'll move on so the yeah the as we said use the edob to explore check out if you found something new then add it to your google maps sorry this is doing crazy things at the minute so we we went in august 2020 and we parked in that car park it's a very short walk people were swimming there nice um would it would have been a nice day for a dip as well it's hot uh you can park as i say in that park there are some world war world war one cylinders on the green if you park in the green lane for a short walk uh, there's no turning in that area so you have to turn around the car park take your time and again it's about getting fit in my case i wanted to revisit yantlik creek because i was there years ago with a load of guys we were doing crazy things over many years there and for me it's like a bit of memory lane yeah and so i did trespass a bit on the yantlik creek range um you shouldn't do it it could be dangerous i didn't go as far as the creek itself yeah but that would be wet yeah and again go low tide and careful of the mud you don't want to get stuck there go with a partner take a mobile phone make certain that people know where you're going um so here's the picture you can see one of the container ships on the foreground in the foreground is the south end shibriness area and there's the teeth just lying around and you can sort of walk down on the beach and go along uh, and they're really impressive the the size of these things yeah i don't know if they were just dumped there like that or if this is what the tide's done to it or if it's just over time someone moved them this is where if you walk along what seems to be a coastal path you get to a stage where it says don't come in well okay maybe maybe i decided to go in there and from a long lens you can see here the waterway here is the creek coming in and somewhere not far from me it's like the extent of the port of london i think there's some sort of marking in the thames there. so this block house um we used to go to a many a cold morning uh when you're half asleep setting up explosions and stuff and testing things uh, all good fun great memories yeah um and we'd always used to have to tell south end airport we were blowing things up so they didn't let the planes come across cows were the thing that got my goat if i can use that phrase that was slightly wary of cows uh, one of the guys he would put his finger in the nose of them and lead them apparently this is a well-known technique he used, grew up on a farm it wasn't animal cruelty uh okay dave you can come along for the next trial because we need to move the cows yeah so from above you can see some of the uh, where they've been eroded the the concrete blocks there so they got the sort of mole a bit like we saw with some in guildford and there's a slightly better picture of them there um, so there's quite a lot of stuff down there much more impressive at a lower tide yeah um, this around this area somewhere is the this is by the yacht club somewhere around here is the remains of the u-boat i'm not really certain where but my wife said take that picture she said she could see it i don't know uh, and if it's low enough you can go out there but i, I kind of wouldn't bother you um so now we're going to look at some of the field videos they won't be so exciting this time but um anyway you can skip this if you only came for the location that was in the first video as usual so i hope you enjoy and thank you All the grain is even on the box. There's even more down here by the sea's edge, although it does say you're not supposed to come up here. Let's just carry on a little bit, see what we can see. I think we're on the edge of the Yantlet Creek Range. There's some more in the sea there. Get some more defences and rocks there. Look. What else have we got here? It's concrete up here that have come up from somewhere. We've done demolition practice. see the concrete and rubble on the path the 
Let's open the hills over there. Nothing really, okay.